after World War II, the Royal Hellenic Navy was significantly strengthened by the concession of British and Italian ships. The organization also changed in line with Martinever doctrines of that era after the entrance into NATO in 1952. At the beginning of the 1950s, U.S. military aid formed the core of the country's armed forces. The Royal Hellenic Navy received the first Bosquick class destroyers, which took on the name Beast, while withdrawing the British ones. After the change of regime, and especially from the end of the 1980s, the Navy works on new strategies concerning the defense of the country within the framework of the EU and the new structure of NATO. The new role of the Navy is not only concentrated on the control of the Hellenic frontiers and borders, it is also involved in two peacekeeping actions under the umbrella of the UN. The Hellenic Navy's defense spending increased significantly during the 1990s. Many standard class frigates, along with the orders for more missile corvettes, Poseidon class submarines, and naval helicopters, allowed the retirement of the obsolete vessels. Among them, the arrival of Hydra class has contributed to the creation of a new appearance of Greek Navy. The Greek Hydra class was designed in Germany in the late 1980s based on the design of the Michael frigate named after a many-headed serpent in Greek mythology. The first ship was built in Germany while the remaining were built at the Hellenic shipyards at Skaramanga. A total of four frigates were built, F452 Hydra, F453 Spessai, F454 Sara, and F455 Salamis. The first ship was delivered to the Hellenic Navy in 1992, but it was not officially operational until 1993 due to suffer a serious fire and had to repair. The remaining ships were delayed due to financial problems, and it was not until 1998 that the last ship was completed. When completed, the ships had a full displacement of 4,000 tons, a length of 117.5 meters, a beam of 14.8 meters, and a draft of 6 meters. As a variant of the Mako frigate, the Hydra class has high specification for shock resistance, rigidity requirements for fire control and radar systems, and resistance to explosion and air pressure to maintain the integrity of the armored weapon system. The ships were optimized according to Greek requirements to fit locally manufactured equipment. It used modular construction techniques, a common shipbuilding technique today. The hull is constructed of high tensile steel, divided into 12 self-sufficient watertight sections, which function almost independently of each other. Each compartment also has independent data transfer to the naval automation system. The Hydra class was more focused on anti-submarine warfare capabilities with a DE-1160 variable depth sonar and support for one S-70B-6 Asian Hawk anti-submarine warfare helicopter, the Greek version of Sea Hawk using the AGM-119 Mark II Penguin anti-ship missiles. The missile uses semi-active homing to a range of 15 km. The Hydra's armament Include the Mark 48 Mod 2 vertical auxiliary system for 16 RIM 162 EVO C sparrow surface to air missiles. These missiles are installed aft of the two funnels. For anti ship warfare, the Hydra is equipped with two Mark 141 guided missile launching system for AGM 84 Harpoon missiles. The Harpoon is equipped with semi active radar homing 
and has a range of 130 km. The lodgers are installed at a fixed elevation on the upper deck behind the main mast. Surface combat capabilities are also enhanced by the use of Asian Hawk helicopters that provide targeting data for over-horizon targets. To deal with the submarines, Hydra was installed through cheaper Mark 32 Mode 5 324mm chips from Mark 46 torpedoes. It was installed on the port and starboard of the ship at the main take lever in front of the mast. The Honeywell Mark 46 anti-submarine torpedoes uses active and passive homing and range of 11 km. The main gun on board was one Mark 45 127mm gun capable of hitting both air and surface targets. To deal with close-range threats, the frigates are equipped with two 20mm flanks closing weapon systems. The flanks has six barrels firing 3,000 rounds a minute and a range of 1,500 meters. The vessels have a crew of 173 men. Their propulsion system is an arrangement of combined diesel or gas, driving two shafts, controllable pitch propellers. They are powered by General Electric LM2500 gas turbines, providing 60,656 horsepower each, and two MTU20V956 diesel engines with 10,040 horsepower each. The vessels have a maximum speed of 31 knots, the maximum range of 4,100 nautical miles, with a speed of 80 knots. Electronic equipment includes the signal MW08 air search radar on the mast tower in the center of the ship forward of the funnels. The signal TA08 air surface radar on the main mast. The firepower is controlled by two signal steer fire control radar with distinctive conical antenna. As mentioned before, the Meko 200 HN is also equipped with a DE-1160 variable depth sonar for better detection performance in a small sea, such as the Aegean Sea. In addition, the vessels are fitted with the SLQ-25 Nixi torpedo decoy and Mark 46 Mark 1 SRBOC countermeasure system. Compared to Turkey's Meko 200 Barbaros class, the Hydra class warships have some differences. For example, they use the phalanx instead of Sea Zenith closing weapon system, the sonar and a combined diesel or gas propulsion system, with the same gun armament as an Aliberg destroyer, eight harpoons, and a Sea Sparrow vertical launching system. These ships represent excellent flexibility.